Hey guys, good morning. It's Victor Costa, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. Just to prove it's me. So, um, some of you have asked, hey Vic, what do you have for breakfast? How do you start off your day? Well, um, I used to start off my day with a venti pike place from Starbucks. Um, but the guy at Starbucks started to question my manhood about the pike, and he said, why don't you try the dark roast? So I start off every day with a venti dark roast uh, as of a week ago. I love it. Um, no milk, no sugar. It's just this. Uh, I nurse this through a good part of the morning. Then I don't drink any coffee for the rest of the day. I actually drink green tea uh, from a Keurig machine for the rest of the day and water. That's it. So one venti coffee per day and that's it. On the weekend, sometimes I go back for a refill and that's just, uh, and I never feel good actually after I do that. I go back for the refill, I kind of have half of it, I finish the rest of it, and then I'm kind of jumpy for the rest of the day. So um, if I use my discipline, I'll only have that and maybe um, a half of another one. So what do I have for breakfast? Well, I have a handful of almonds, um, one serving of almonds, generally 23 almonds is a handful uh, serving. And it just so happens that it, it's commensurate with my hand, the size of my hand. If I, I can inevitably grab the, um, a bunch of almonds and it's gonna be 23 almost every time that I put my hand in there. So I start off, these are from Whole Foods, of course. Whole Foods is my favorite place to go. Um, I told one of my friends, he said, he said, what do you do for fun? I'm like, I walk around in Whole Foods. He's like, oh yeah, that's normal. No, but I enjoy going in there. I enjoy seeing the bounty of the food. Um, it reminds me of the, the miracle that we're here and the food is here to serve uh, for us and, and there's just so much incredible variety that's provided by all that, you know. Um, and so I start off, uh, every time I'm in there it's sort of like a, you know, a very um, spiritual experience when I walk in and I see all that food. It feels really good. Then um, I have this Nature's Path um, flax oatmeal. I have two packets of these, and these are terrific. It's, uh, these must be pretty popular because this is the only flavor that's usually sold out. They have a hemp flavor, they have various types of flavors, but these are the ones that are uh, generally sold out. So uh, I love these. So Nature's Path Organic Biologique, uh, three generations, hot oatmeal flax. I put this in water for about three or four minutes. I stir it up, and then a lot of commotion going on back there. And then um, an organic banana from Whole Foods as well. So that's how I start my day. I've got the coffee, I've got the almonds, I've got the uh, carbs with the oatmeal, I've got the fiber with the oatmeal, I've got a little protein in that oatmeal actually, um, and I've got uh, a beautiful organic banana from Whole Foods. Um, the, the entire box of oatmeal, it comes, it's $4.99. Sometimes you can get it on sale for like $3.99. Uh, there's eight packets in there. So this entire breakfast costs me, um, I mean, with, with one serving of almonds, you know, aside from the coffee is the most expensive part of the breakfast. So it's only a couple of dollars. And that's pretty much how I start my day all the way until lunch. Um, before I eat, I generally um, offer some kind of a acknowledgement of the food. Um, I understand how important it is, it, the, the whole concept and the idea of taking and putting into one's body. Um, this reverence sort of prepares my body to accept the food. Um, it calms me down um, and I just uh, appreciate the, um, the, the amazing processes that my body can do with this beautiful nourishment. And I eat this, I've been eating this way for a long time. And it's taken me a long time to actually find my formula. Um, and so that's just breakfast. That'll get me through the day till about 11 o'clock or so. And then I'll have another little snack a little bit later. But anyway, guys, I wish you all the best. Uh, peace, love, and muscles. Um, if you want to try this, and, and uh, it's something that I've done, and I've talked to actually a pretty, a pretty good group of renowned neurologists about uh, the idea of concept of... Um, reverence, saying grace and prayer before meals, and it sort of uh, allows the body to be in a more accepting mode. It, um, it does a lot to the nervous system by calming yourself down, and in addition to connecting with uh, your own creator um, and the beauty of connecting with the bounty of the earth, in addition to that, 
It also prepares the body and relaxes the body and it helps you become more amenable to digestion actually. So there's a lot that goes on in the relaxation of the mind uh, and the reverence for the food you're about to have. So I encourage just a small moment of relaxation, some breathing, some acknowledgement for the food and I'll bet it'll make a difference in your digestion. It may even make a difference in the way that you metabolize the nutrients. So, you know, I love that stuff. So, wish you guys all the best. Have an awesome day. Peace, love, and muscles. Visit me at Vix Natural. Say hello on Facebook. Take care. Bye.